What is the worst injury you've ever had? Your stories now, shared live, with more bar talk on the brew. Joel, what's the worst injury you've ever had? Well, I have a three-way tie, one of which Joe was there for. But my first one is uh, when I was younger, I was driving a go-kart, and uh, there was a bunch of my friends playing basketball, and I was apparently going like this, and I, I don't know if this really happened or not, because I have no recollection, but apparently I flipped them off, and the next thing I know, I hit a car. And I like destroyed the whole go-kart and I like woke up the next day in bed with like a neck brace on. Um, so I was concussed for like a day <laughs> wow. from that. Uh, the other one I was going to say is when me and Joe were in uh, Cabo <laughs> a couple years ago and I slipped up on the water on the tile and I fell and hit my chin and split it all open. And Joe and I tried to like, uh, what did we do? We went out the whole day, right? Yeah, because they only gave me band-aids at the reception desk in the front of the hotel. They're like, we don't have anything, and they gave me... So you put these little band-aids on it, and we went out. Yeah, but like I kept bleeding through it, and then my teeth started falling out, and it was like, this is really, really bad. And uh, eventually, you know, I had to go get it stitched up uh, with like some surgical glue in Mexico. So that was not, <laughs> not a fun experience. And then the other one is, uh, last summer, I broke my foot on the couch. I just kind of like went around the corner too fast. That was just painful. That was just like hard to walk for a long time. Yikes, yeah, that's gross. And the FYI, we the, shot the episode of you and I eating the Mexican Burger King after with you with the Band-Aids on. We had, it's hidden in the show, you can't really tell, but that's like when your teeth were messed up and everything. Like One of our more popular shows on the channel, so now you know a little backstory behind that. If you go back you know, several years here, you'll, you can see it. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is visible on Joe's channel, that is true. <laughs> Well, mine aren't quite as spectacular as yours. I guess I have two. And when I was a little kid, and I don't remember this at all, I apparently had this little shoe you could ride around the house in, and I rode it down the cellar steps and knocked myself out. But I mean, I was like two, whatever. I mean, and I had to go to the hospital, I guess, and my, I don't know, I broke my nose and stuff. I don't, again, I don't remember any of it. I, uh, my mom and my grandmother tell me horror stories about it. All of a sudden, my grandmother hears just somebody going down the steps, and it turns out it was me, not my drunk grandfather. So it was, uh, yeah, not good. And then when I was in 10th grade, I got a secondary burn on my head. I shaved my head bald, went golfing one day, didn't wear a hat, and then went and mowed the lawn like the next day. And then two days later, all of a sudden, it was like spewing, like almost like a Mountain Dew kind of pus out of there. Like it was, and then I went to school on that Monday and my face started blowing up in class. And we were in chorus. <laughs> and my friend Simon's like, Joe, you probably should go to the doctor because your face is blowing up very big. And it did. I looked like Odo from Deep Space Nine, but eventually I missed the rest of the week of school. It was actually last week of my sophomore year. My eyes swelled up shut. It was so bad. Yeah, yeah had to go to the hospital and get some shots for that, too. It, uh, it was weird. It was almost like somebody took like hot Ziploc bags and taped my head. Like You could poke it and touch it. It was just it stung from like being hot from being a sunburn. But uh, hey, that's where I learned that sunburns are no joke. No, no kidding. But that shit melted your head into the shape it is today, so be thankful. <laughs> Yeah, it is, it is a fine head, but that's why I always wear caps to this day. You know, it's like, all right, still shave the head, but uh, yeah, let's not, uh, let's, let's not do that. Well, we got a stack of your fun experiences you shared with us, and these are some interesting stories to say the least, so uh, let's check out what's uh, some of your crazier medical injuries. All right, so Alton says, fractured my fifth metacarpal. When I, was punked, when I punched a seat at Yankee Stadium, I punched it so hard, my hand was as big as a watermelon, soft cast four weeks, hard cast four weeks, horrible. Well, there's a lot of baseball fans like a punch a few things in baseball right now with the whole lockout going on. I don't think we need to punch a seat right now, but... Uh, Pull up 2004 Kevin Brown. <laughs> or Java Chamberlain on those trampolines that time. <laughs> that's not... Oh, yeah, that's true. Brian says, when I was 10, I took a fastball right below my left eye. Missed a few games before getting back out there. That's always one of my fears with uh, getting hit in the eye with like any type of ball or anything like that. And... Uh, but hey, good for him though. You know, he manned up back then. Hardcore baseball player when you get right back out there. Yeah, that's uh, that's one of the things though that like you get that injured, that's gonna be a serious problem for the rest of your life. So that's when you gotta be real careful, real aware. That's back in the days too, before like baseball players are so fragile. You know, like you, you know, like uh, GM Collar Stanton now. You know, he subs his toe, getting out of the shower, and he's out for six months. This guy takes a fastball of the eye and gets back out there. You got you gotta give him props yeah, for that's that. True. That's true. Uh, Richard Poole says, tore my plantar fasciata ligament in my left foot, in a boot for four months, also broken my left thumb, left arm twice, separated my left ankle playing high school baseball, fell on ice on left elbow, tore left shoulder up, rotator cuff tear, slap tear, bicep tender, tore loose. Wow, everything's on his left side too, so Richard Poole, are, are you left-handed? But um, you've had to do that thing where you had to wear a boot when you broke your foot, right? Yeah, I did. I just didn't, uh, didn't have as bad as that. Uh, that was more like you got turned into Two-Face from Batman. 
Uh, Bronx Brothers 46 says two torn ACLs. A lot more than those, but I'd say those were the worst. Starman says, I have a scar on my face when I got hit from behind and went through the windshield of my car. I don't remember anything. I think I'm lucky that's the worst I've had in my life outside of COVID. Whew, I'm guessing that might be the days of when you have to wear a seatbelt in your car, you know? But yeah, I, yikes, that's another fear. Like, I don't ever want to, like, take my face off a windshield. No. Yeah, obviously anything head-related is going to make it high on the list. Rock Guitar says, five years old, a pot of hot coffee spilled on my back. And the answer is no, no scars. And finally, I Need Ice Cream 75 says, and when I was in fifth grade, I burned my stomach. Well, as somebody who's had to deal with burns before, like, a sunburn's bad enough, but when you actually get, like, a burn from, like, a fire or something like that, I see why it takes people so long to recover from it. Like, that's, there's nothing you can do, like, put that fire out, basically. Yeah, and I hear that's one of the most painful things you can possibly suffer from as well. Yeah, I mean, you can get freezer burn and stuff, but actual burn from fire. I didn't realize a little kid one time I touched a hot sparkler and I learned a lesson with that. I had like a line down my hand from like uh, the metal burning and then, you know, it's like, oh, look, I've cooked my own flesh. It's great. But uh, yeah, you remember that kind of pain. Uh, did you ever uh, put a fork in the uh, electrical, so <laughs> electrical socket? No, I did not. But I watched a friend of mine in high school one time put a, um, I think it was like two bare wires in the socket and whoosh, it went up like that. No, we don't need to be putting forks in light sockets. <laughs> don't do any of this, by the way. Anybody, we're saying don't do all this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please, please. We need to put the disclaimer at the bottom. Please don't sue us either if you go ahead and get the idea to do that from watching this show. So, yeah, appreciate it. Hey, well, you also appreciate it when you click that like, subscribe button down below for all the fun here on the Jersey Joe 50 YouTube channel. Four big shows waiting for you each every week, and we hope that you will stay safe while you're watching the fun here on the big channel. So, well, some crazy stories there sometimes. Yeah, the windshield one, I think, is probably my horrible, scary story, I think, out of all of those. Just, like, that alone, whew, wear a seatbelt. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, the older I get, the more I wear a seatbelt, which is, like, maybe 10% of the time. I guess the other question with that story, I do have a question, though. I guess... Airbags are meant to protect you from putting your head through the windshield, so pre-airbag car, I guess? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go with both. I'll just stick with both for now. Unless he was going so fast he went, fast, he went through the airbag into the windshield. I don't know, anyway. We'll, we'll do some research on that and more information to come. <laughs> All right, Giorgio, I and you say thanks for watching, thanks for sharing your great stories, and we'll see you next time, I hope. More funny and crazy 911 calls from New York City via the Citizen app. Now, on the Jersey Joe 50 YouTube channel.